Well, I'm all set to begin the uh, first phase of this uh, complete makeover of our home. We're going to paint the foundation. And we picked out the color, and the color is shown here in the brochure. This is the color scheme we've chosen for the house, and we tried to match the gray to this gray right here for the foundation color. And I just came back from the paint store, and I'll show you that right now. It was actually called Wool Peacock, or Peacoat. The supplies weren't cheap. The two uh, um, jugs of paint and the supplies that go with it was $169. That should be enough to do um, two coats, we hope. So we're going to show you the house now. We've got a lot of work to do on the house. We're going to change the, the um, soffit and fascia, new siding and windows, and paint the foundation. Now there's the existing foundation. I'm going to show you a finished version when I'm done too, so you can compare and have a look. This is one end, and this here is a step. Um, I did a lot of scraping yesterday and the day before to get the old carpet off. Um, this definitely needs paint, so it's going to take a bit. It's the main entrance way. The front of the house has some brush at the bottom. I mean some landscaping, I should say. And that's going to be uh, all dark gray in the side. A lot of work needs to be done in the house, so we know that. So that's going to be all painted too. I'll show you the finished version when I'm done. Some leftover fencing in the back of the house. It's quite a big house, it's about 70 feet long, and I don't know if I'll get away with two jugs or not, but uh, a lot of work. Just gotta move a few things out of the way, and I can start just gonna get the kid stuff out of the way and some railings. Okay, I'm about to begin. Just want to give you a tip painting the foundation is pretty bad because you go into the dirt all the time, so I'm gonna use this here to scrape the dirt away and I also bought myself a throwaway brush. So this brush will be like used only to paint the dirt. I shouldn't say the dirt but under the dirt. And then when I'm done with that job I'll just throw the brush away. I'll show you. This is the corner of the house where the mulch is. I'm just gonna get my old blade down there and pull it out and I can pour the paint right down there. See that? Right down you can always see the other line where it was painted before way down there. Oops sorry about that. Yeah so looking forward to trying this out. Uh, gonna start soon. Sun's up, bright and early. Time to get going. There, I just finished the first end. It went a whole lot better than I expected. The uh, drywall tool I used to move the paint away from the, the wall against from the dirt worked great. And uh, it's perfect. I just uh, push it up against the wall, pull it out, paint, and I use my throwaway brush the whole time. I never even used a good brush and barely got the roller even touched yet, but there's more to come for the roller. So next is the, the other end of the house. There, job is finished. Four hours later from start to finish, all that's left is a cleanup. Now I'm gonna show you the house again on the sides. This is one end and here's the front. Got the step, two coats on the step. Really good. If you want to leave the paint, uh, I'll have to post it on the screen. I know I have to change the windows too, that's part of the plan, but it's going to give you an idea of the color. If you're looking for a nice basement color, yeah, it's a good color, that's for sure. Um, still got some cables to move out of the way. And there's the last piece. Like I said, this is step one of many steps. Next, I'm taking the gutter off, putting new soffit and fascia on, and then change the siding. This was the beginning. 